the selection tool. In addition to using the articulation, smart shape, and expression tools to edit the appropriate markings in your score, you can also use the selection tool as a universal editing tool to move, delete, or edit any text or markings. Click on the selection tool. To move a marking, click on the marking and drag. To delete a marking, click on the marking, it turns purple, and press delete. The selection tool can also be used to move, add, highlight, insert or delete measures, copy items, and much more. The Repeat Tool Use the Repeat Tool to enter repeat signs and endings. We'll begin by adding a forward repeat sign at the beginning of the score. Click on the Repeat Tool. If you have a two-button mouse, right-click on the treble staff in Measure 1 to bring up a contextual menu. If you have a single button mouse, press the control key and click in measure one to bring up the contextual menu. Select create forward repeat bar. Click anywhere on the white of the page to remove the highlight. Now for the endings in measures eight and nine. To identify the measure region that is in the first ending, click in the treble staff in measure 8 to highlight it. Context click, that is right click with a two button mouse or control click with a single button mouse in the highlighted area. Choose create first and second ending. Both endings and the repeat sign are entered simultaneously. When the repeats and endings are entered in this way, you are able to enter them quickly and they will all play back correctly. Click out of the repeat tool on any other tool icon to make the editing handles disappear. Save your work. Now that you have entered articulations, smart shapes, dynamics, endings, and a repeat, play back your score and listen for these added elements.